Hi, I'm Dr. Kush and welcome to Smoke Therapy. Today meet Angela. Angela's having a very serious problem. She's getting married in six months, but she just had a threesome and she's kind of falling in love with the third party. Let's see if we can help her today on Smoke Therapy. I forgot your name. Uh, could you tell me your name? <laughs> Angela. Angela. Okay, Angela, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, hey, um, you know, I just, uh, I'm actually in a relationship. I love my man very much. We're about to get married here, and, you know, and uh, it's something new to me, but. You look pretty happy. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm happy, but, you know, kind of confused about something a little bit. Well, you know this therapy session is based off of smoking sativa. Who referred you? Um, I was recommended by uh, one of my good friends that came to you. What's her name? Her name is Jessica. I always suggest that my therapy clients take a hit of the sativa. You don't have to take too long with it. So why are you here? I'm here because, uh, well, I'm in a relationship, an awesome relationship. We're about to get uh, married here. And here, here in the office. No. Oh, <laughs> well, my man wanted to try a threesome, so you know, I thought about him. Like, all right, cool. You thought about him while you were having a threesome. Well, I thought about. I asked him, and you know, I was like, "You were, were you gonna be cool with it?" And you know, I, I figured, yeah. So we ended up having a lot of fun, and and then all of a sudden, it's like I fell for the girl. I'm, st I'm starting to fall for the girl. It's just, you know. You're starting to fall for her. Yeah, and I never expected that. I really didn't. Hmm, interesting. How does he feel about it? Uh. Does he know? He does not know. No, he does not know. What are you going to tell him? Um, you know, I'm scared to, because I really love him. I love him a lot, and yeah. but I'm really falling for her, and I didn't expect that to happen. Do you feel like you're going to have to choose? Or do you feel like you can make it better for everybody? Uh, that's something I'd have to talk about with him, and that's where I get nervous about that because I'm really starting to fall for her. Well, did he have fun? He did have, he had a lot of fun, and I did too, so. Do you think that he'd be for it, or do you think that he'd be not for it? You know, having two women. He'd probably be for it, you know, for parts of the time, but then there's other times where, you know, even with me, I just want to be with him. I'm really in love with him, and I was with him for a long time, so, you know, that's, that's where the trouble is. Okay, well, um, I'm just curious is, you know, does he satisfy you? Of course he does. I'm in what kind of way? In, in many ways. I mean, I never thought I'd get into being with somebody else, you know, joining us in a group thingy and, you know. Was it more satisfying with or without? It was pretty satisfying with. Well, sounds like you're pretty much in control. And that's, that's where the situation, you know, has helped me out too, is be in control and then be more open. Do you feel like you're a lesbian? I do not feel like I'm a lesbian. Do you like women? Uh, in certain situations. So you're very opportunistic? Yes. Did you have an orgasm? I did have an orgasm. How many times? Uh, twice. Was it the best orgasm that you've ever had in your life? Uh, yeah, I did. What does that entail? Just having that excitement of, of somebody else involved with it, somebody new, you know. Was it more mental, more physical, or was it both? It was both, actually. It seems to me like you like women. I really don't know. I mean, every time I talk about a woman, you smile. Yeah. You get delighted from this, like, internal place that, uh, you know, no one can grasp. Uh, you know, I don't really see it. I don't know, maybe I do. If I enjoyed this encounter and I'm starting to fall for her, you know, I don't know. Well, could you see yourself marrying a woman? No. Well, what do you think about me? I think you're a pretty good looking guy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I think you're awesome. I think you're really cool. Well, you saw my secretary. Of course. Uh, 
what do you think about her? She's beautiful. Have you ever considered having an amazing time? Amazing. Yeah. Like Pacific meets Atlantic kind of amazing. Like, you know, having, you know, a slaves on a ship kind of amazing. Sounds like fun. You know, uh, if you want, you can just like uh, hang out in here for, you know, a couple more minutes, um, you know, before my patient gets here, they have to knock and, um, you know, we can fool around. Would you like to try that? Sounds like fun. Well, I'd like to try it out. I want you to tell me, out of your own mouth, that you're a lesbian. I really enjoyed with being with the girl and, and you know, never thought I would. And I'm having feelings for her, so I, I really think I am going towards that way. <laughs>